Hey, what's up there? This is Eugene and I'm back with a new lesson. This one will not be about techniques or exercises, but still drum related. Unless you're a full-time home studio musician, you will travel or at least move your gear every once in a while. Since drummers probably got the most equipment, it might be really hard to carry it around all the time. Hopefully this video will give you a couple of tips on how to make your life easier on the road. I have been traveling more and more lately under different circumstances. Depending on the transport and the band I travel with, I bring different gear and travel differently. I don't own a car nor driving license. This makes it even harder for me. I use public transportation like buses, trains and airplanes. Gear introduction. Before talking about transporting equipment, first I want to show you what I usually bring with me. Most of the time, at least from my experience, drummers bring or promoters require them to pedals, cymbals, sticks, snare drum and electronics. This is of course not always the case, especially when you rent the gear for the show. A minimum set of cymbals I use includes one hi-hat, two crashes, one ride, two chinas, one splash. Depending on the situation I like to bring a second pair of hi-hats, sometimes a second splash, a third crash and a mini china. A double pedal easily convertible to two singles a snare drum with spare heads, drumsticks, a few pairs, electronics, trigger module, mini mixer, cables, in-ears, spare acoustic triggers, spare parts including drum keys, allen keys, pedal springs, screws, screwdrivers, pliers, secondary hi-hat arm, gaffer tape, practice pad. For buses and trains, I bring all of the above mentioned gear. It might sound like a lot to carry, but I'll come back to it a bit later. If I travel by plane, I just ask the promoter for a snare and leave mine at home. This way I pay less for the luggage in the airports. The most important thing about transporting your gear is to protect it during the trip, obviously. But one might also want to carry as less weight as possible. I'd like to discuss with you the options you can choose from for transporting your equipment. Soft bags. Advantages. Cheap, small, light. Good for your back. You might be able to bring it on board of a plane as a carry-on, but not always, depending on the airlines and airport safety policy. Disadvantages. Poor protection. If handled without care, especially by the careless airport staff, might get your cymbals or snare drum damaged, which will cost you more than you saved on buying that soft bag. Hard cases. Advantages. Good protection. The invested money eventually pays off for keeping your gear undamaged. Disadvantages. Expensive, big, heavy. Has to be checked in as luggage in the airport, which means you pay extra for transporting it by plane. So the bottom line is, you want to minimize the amount of items you have to minimize the cost at the airport and maximize the protection of your gear. A very useful small device you could buy is these luggage scales. While packing your stuff before the airport, you can already estimate the weight of your luggage with good accuracy, therefore not paying for overweight. Saves you time and money. All wheels setup. After years of experimenting, I came down to an all wheels setup, which makes it easier for me to walk with over 60 kilograms of equipment. Symbols. 24 inch hard case rolling cymbal vault. Obviously heavy, big and expensive. The wheels give extra mobility. I have customized the cymbal vault, replaced the bottom straps with longer ones, inserted a metallic frame to expand the depth of the case to fit more stuff in it. The frame adds to the weight a bit of course, but it's still a good improvement. One of the main reasons I did it because of the Peisty 2002 chinas which I use. They have those nasty big bells. Honestly, they're really impractical and take up so much space. I got the 24 inch case to have additional space that I stuff with clothes. This gives extra protection for the symbols too. Important notice, the clothes to be put around the symbols and not on top, which might cause pressure on the symbols and damage them. Frankly, you gotta put your clothes somewhere and the symbol vault is half empty anyway. Lastly, I replaced the bolt in the middle with a longer one and drilled a hole in the lid. The old short one was bending and deforming under the weight of the symbols. The new one is long enough to go through the lid, this way being supported by it and not being bent or deformed by the cymbals. Overall, around 22-23 kilos, just under the weight limit of most airlines. Snare. A regular hard case, big enough to fit my 14 by 5.5 inch Rogers Dynasonic steel snare. 
In addition, I put my practice pad under the snare as well as my first aid kit, shampoo, sunscreen and mosquito spray, depending on the places I travel to. Attached a simple strap from a laptop bag so I can either carry the snare case over the shoulder to have a free hand or attach it to the cymbal vault and just roll it. Overall, around 8 kilos. Pedals, sticks, electronics and spare parts. All of that goes into a big suitcase. One you can buy in a regular store, not drum related. Mine is big enough to fit all the remaining gear, but not too big to exceed the 23 kilogram limit when fully packed. A small cheap silver case which contains my Roland TM2 trigger module, small Mackie VLZ4 mixer and usually two DI boxes. I also used different trigger module and mixer in the past. Cables and in-ears. I put some foam inside the suitcase to protect the pedals. The remaining space I fill with spare parts, drum keys, drumsticks, drumming shoes and so on. Overall it is under the weight limit. Got wheels too, obviously. If I don't bring the snare, I put the stuff from the snare case in my suitcase. I bring my backpack with my laptop, chargers, a small pillow and whatever stuff I'm allowed to take on board with me. This way I can bring a lot of things with me and still not struggle too much by carrying it. While having all my gear on wheels, I can get from my dorm in Vienna to the practice room, train or bus station or airport using escalators and elevators on the subways without lifting all my equipment on stairs. Perfect. I used the cymbal case without wheels before. Had a small folding trolley with some ropes that I used for the cymbals and snare. Also customized. Extended the bottom lever with a metallic frame to put more stuff on it. Definitely less practical than a cymbal case with wheels because you have to fold it and set it up every time. This is just my current setup of course. I still believe it can become smaller and more practical but not without compromising. Remember that if your goal is to become a successful touring musician, you cannot stay at home all the time. Life on the road is very hard, but there is no comfort in the growth zone and no growth in the comfort zone. If you have the chance to travel the world, do it, no matter how hard it seems to be. And of course, remember to protect your gear. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and were able to learn something useful from it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share this video with your fellow traveling companions in need and most importantly subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, safe travels, summon demons, Eugene out. Psst. Are you still here? Make sure you check out these as well.